oh my god, I can't believe this day is here. Hey, everybody. You said you can ask me anything. Where do you stand with Jen Shaw right now? Holy shit. That's the reality of it. I'm not even gonna lie, you went to bat for her. I was like, I don't get why you do this. You're the reason she was on the show? Yeah, she was a Beauty Lab customer and I gave her name to casting agents. Especially like Mormonism, it's just, it feels like such an extreme. It is, it is very like, extreme. Why'd you leave the Mormon church? Watching it back, did you feel like, wow, I made that really confusing? They say dress for the job you want. Well, bitch, I am dressed like someone who wants to sleep. And that was intentional. Hi everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. I know what you're thinking. The setup looks really legit. We're just being boss girls and optimizing a space that I rented out. So, suck on that IRS. I don't know why I always just have beef with the IRS, but I feel like not enough people have beef with the IRS. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about because we're about to talk about something much more stupid than the IRS, which is the Grammys red carpet fashion. Yep, the Grammys just happened last weekend and I turned on the TV for about 30 minutes until I was just bored. Except for when Beyonce won like the most amount of Grammy wins ever. That was history. I'm sorry. That was her story. But another thing I was just incredibly bored by was what everybody was wearing. So I figured, what should I do? Broadcast my disdain for everybody's outfits to the internet because truly what else would I be doing? Now for my last outfit roast, I believe for the Golden Globes, people said that I was too mean. Guys, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, guys, it's, I just don't think it's that deep, y'all. However, before we get into me being a judgmental C word, I want to thank the sponsor of today's episode, which is Helix Sleep. If you guys do not know, I've worked with Helix so many times, both on my channel and the podcast on Hinge with Chris Clemens. Now, if you do not know, Helix Sleep is a premium mattress in a box company that takes all of your unique needs and wants for a mattress and it ships that customized mattress right to your door. I've had Helix mattresses for like years and they continue to still be... Not only the best sleep that I get, but like I have them in my guest room and the best sleep that like people who stay with me, oh, they're like, Chris, that was the best night of my life. Now everybody is different and Helix knows that, which is why they made the Helix sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleeping preferences into the perfect mattress for you. When I took the Helix sleep quiz, I said that I wanted a king mattress. I'm a side sleeper. I like a medium firmness. And I got matched up with the Midnight Lux mattress and it is pure magic. I'm in New York right now and just the mattress does not hit the same and it like affects your whole day when you don't get a good night of sleep. The best part about Helix is like I've mentioned before, they deliver it right to your door. You don't have to go to those weird money laundering mattress stores and it comes to your door free of charge in the US. What more could you literally ask for? With all of this being said, it's fair to say that I love my Helix and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click on the link down below or go to helixsleep.com slash Chris Clemens to get 20% off your Helix mattresses plus two free pillows. Guys, a mattress customized to you and it shows up to your door and now you get 20% off. What? A wet dream. And if you realize that it isn't the best sleep of your life, guess what? They have a 10-year warranty and a 100-night sleep trial risk-free. Thank you so much, Helix Sleep, for not only supporting my channel and working with me, but also for the incredible nights of sleep. Seriously, I love y'all. All right, guys, let's just get into it. There's no better person to judge this than someone wearing a Rick Owens jacket that looks like a sleeping bag. So let's do it. Oh, also, I'm, I'm a little high. Oops. I'm, like, very high. Can we get much higher? No. All right, first up, we have Olivia Rodrigo, and, like, she looks hot. Like, she looks good. Is she over 18? Yeah. Oh, okay, Slay. Just, well, I mean, I listen, I'm not trying to pull a James Charles right now. She looks fucking good. I, honestly, it doesn't do much for me, but I like it a lot. Like, her hair literally looks like she's going to, like, eighth period English class or something. I mean, like, it could not look more pedestrian, and I love it. <laughs> Good for you! Is that Olivia O'Brien? No, is that a... <laughs> Mom, please pick me up. I am too high. Oh, next up we have Lizzo, which makes me sad for what I'm about to say. I literally hate this pile of lawn clippings. Not only because it's Dolce & Gabbana and they are a garbage company, but also because I just... Oh, dear God. This at the Met Gala, I would at least like a little bit more. I think I would still fucking hate it, but it would make more sense. This just feels 
like a lot for the Grammys red carpet. Like it feels like a miss. Oh, I hate saying this to her because she really is such an empowering, really cool seeming person. But like, oh, Lizzo, why? Also Dolce & Gabbana? Why you gotta, why you Gabbana go make things so complicated? <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Cause she's not Avril Lavigne. <laughs> I was like, well, that's music. <laughs> this is the Grammy. <laughs> Holy fuck. Next up, we have Thames. And honestly, she looks fucking phenomenal. I have no idea who this is. But I'm eating what they're serving. They are also eating and serving. This color is just fucking sexy. It matches her skin so beautifully. And the beads add such a, like, nice... I don't know, like... It's almost too fancy, and then the beads are like, my kids gave me their arts and crafts. But like in a really, like, like a Northwest is the artist, not like your four-year-old. No offense to your four-year-old. Lil Uzi Vert, the way that this loaded makes him look like Lil Lil Uzi Vert, like. Oh. <laughs> Next up we have Camila Cabello, and Camila Cabello, just stop showing up. I'm sorry, I have not seen one good look Ever. Like, it's always somewhat normal, and then there's just something that is literally insane. And yes, I'm looking her right in the two eyes. I just don't... Like, if her hair was more interesting, maybe. I just fucking hate it. Every time I see an outfit she's wearing, I hate it. And, like, I'm starting to not feel sorry. Apathy. One hell of a drug. Next up, we have Doja Cat, and she literally looks phenomenal. Like, this is like, oh my God, an event gown, but it's like this modern take with the latex and the hair. I like, oh, Doja. I mean, Doja. I will say it is a little triggering to see Doja Cat as I am still finding red rhinestones in my kitchen. Um, but that is for, in fact, therapy. Thank you. Next up, we have Paris Hilton and literally what the fuck? What the fuck? She looks good every time I see her. Literally somehow looks younger. We all talk about the Kardashians and what they get done. Bitch, why are we not talking about what she's getting done? Because this is the secret sauce. Also, the outfit's nice. It's simple, but I like the way it glitters. And it just is so fucking Paris Hilton. I don't know. It like gives me like 2010 clubbing days, but like goes to the Grammys. And like, I'm all about that. That's, mm. All right, next up we have Cardi B. And I really love this. I'm actually surprised at how much Cardi served this look, but it was really beautiful. And like, just that kind of construction is so fascinating to me because obviously this is not an everyday go get a fucking gallon of almond milk or some shit. I will say I hate a train, I think. I don't think I like trains. I just, what is it serving? Nothing. It's serving fabric waste. It's serving... There's something more impressive behind her. And it's not a train. It's her literal caboose. I don't know. I love the whole look up until the train. The way it just flows. Oh, and the way it is around her, like, torso and waist. I, Cardi B, I'm giving you a Cardi A+. plus. Well, an A- minus because of the train. Next up, we have Sherdarika Nichols. I don't want to hear it if I butcher people's names. I am aware that I'm butchering people's names. And I will think about it for, like, days. <laughs> However you pronounce their name, they are literally eating. This is so cool. I would say maybe no gloves, just because I think this dress is so fascinating. And the hair and the earrings? Who the hell is this? Because <laughs> do they got an Instagram? I love this. Maybe because it's like if I were a woman, this is like absolutely something I would fucking wear. But this is sick. Yeah, I've decided that I hate the gloves on it. But like, oh my God, if there was just some like good gold jewelry on her hands. I think that would have eaten a lot harder, but still, fucking 10 out of 10. Oh my God, and then we get to Queen Latifah. Wow, okay, that's Queen Latifah at the Grammys in a tablecloth. All right, next up we have Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, Megan Fox is in fact so hot. I literally forgot where the camera was because <laughs> I don't know, Megan looks so fucking good. Machine Gun Kelly, continues to make me feel off-put. He's giving me machine gun Chipotle burrito. <laughs> He's giving me machine gun Tin Man going to Oz. He's giving me like, I flatten the Hershey Kiss rapper 
perfectly in English class. I know it's like so hard to see because his outfit is so incredibly loud, but then like the fucking pearled harness, like for what, Kelly, comma, machine gun? But Megan Fox, you look phenomenal. And then also furthermore, how is this still happening? Like this combo, I mean, you look phenomenal just to reinstate. Next up, we have Fran Drescher. Ugh. Look at Fran Drescher. I don't even know who that is. I apologize. Okay, I'm getting a look that I should, so that's not shocking. She just looks happy to be here, and I love that for her. You know, like, I don't think she's trying to, like, turn a look. I think she was, like, really happy with this little orange number. Got the belt in front. It's just so bad. Holy fuck. <laughs> but, like, she looks so happy. Like, you know, this is a great... I don't know if it's because what I've been inhaling, but this is a funny picture. <gasps> Oh my god, Ava Kolker? I literally gasped. That is so sick. It's giving like Jean-Paul Gaultier, but like campier. I literally am like obsessed with it. I love shit like this. I'm not like other girls. I love optical illusions. <laughs> this is just sick. I honestly thought it was like Noah Cyrus for a sec. <laughs> All right, next up we have Harry Styles. And thank God I'm wearing a giant jacket because I can conceal weapons. <laughs> this is awful. I'm not gonna, I'm just, I'm not gonna sit here and like plead a case for it. But what I will say is the way it frames his titties make me want to go into a coma on his chest. His tits. <laughs> He's so fucking sexy. Like, honestly, if it was just like this overall crop top kind of vibe, like the way I have it on my, like, I am like, that's hot as fuck. Oh my God. He is so fucking sexy. His arms, his arms. Oh my God, just fucking beat the shit out of me, Harry. I will say he seemed really tired and like out of it. I hope he's okay. <laughs> what is wrong with me? But like I do, oh my God, he's so, like his titties. I gotta get this mic out of my face. I could do dirty things to it. Next up we have Kim Petras, Sam Smith, Violet Chachki, and Got Mick. I love Violet Chachki and Got Mick. I mean, honestly, more so than Kim Petras and Sam Smith. But that's not tea or shade or lemonade. That's just because those girls are untouchable. Violet Chachki continues to outserve every single fucking time I see her. She is an icon. Got Mick is there, and I will say not one of her best looks. Sam Smith is definitely saying category on the runway is American Horror Story clown realness. I feel like he's about to take off that little coat. And by little, I mean ginormous coat. And then like a lion is gonna pop out of it or something. Kim Petras, I think actually looks gorgeous. Oh my God. And then I zoomed in and I hate the dress. It's an ugly dress. I think we can say that, right? It's just like a red vinyl tablecloth. You know those, like, red plastic tablecloths that you can get at, like, Party City? That looks like exactly what it's made out of. But the veil and the hair and the necklace, I, I love. I really do. Violet Chachki, though, is forever that girl. Period. All right. Next up, we have Taylor Swift. And listen, I'm not going to let the Swifties get to me. She, yes, looks good. Have we not seen this outfit 9,000 times? I am frustrated because, yes, I used to be a hardcore Swiftie. She is so creative and campy with her stuff that I don't understand why that doesn't translate to things like a red carpet. Yes, she's wearing blue for Midnight's and she's in her era and the stars are probably aligned in a way that spells out her next album title. <sighs> but this is so fucking boring. I have a mutual on TikTok who posted like a friends only thing and it said Taylor Swift has served like endless lyrics to our lives but has yet to serve a single goddamn look. And I swear to God, I hate to say it, but 100%. I know Swifties are gonna get mad at me. I literally don't care. This is boring and nothing we haven't seen before. Anyways, um, please don't kill me. All right, next up we have Mary J. Blige and I love this look. I absolutely hate the hip cutouts. They just don't feel right. And also I would do no hip cutouts and no belt. I would have this be like a form-fitting dress. Like she has a, s oh my God, I love this look otherwise. I think she looks so fucking good. Ugh, she is timeless. Like, maybe the cutouts wouldn't be so crazy without the belt. I don't know. There's just something that I just wish it was one snatched dress. Ugh, she looks so fucking good. Heidi Klum. Um, that's Heidi Klum, and those are her Heidi Klums. I kind of wish she came dressed as the worm. That just feels like it would have been fun. We could all use that. Or something like worm adjacent, you know? She is giving python fringe. The hair, what is that? Heidi, to quote literally you in fashion one day you're in and the next day you're out, this look is out 
for me. Or it's like in the threshold of the door, you know? Like it's not in or out, it's just there in the way. Okay, <laughs> this isn't sounding great. Chris, stop talking, maybe. Next up, we have Dwayne Johnson and Lauren Hashian. Okay, The Rock scares the shit out of me. Uh, just let's get that out of the way. I've talked about it on Unhinged with Chris Clemens. I think Brittany Broski said it. Imagine him running full speed at you. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. If I was running at full speed towards you, you'd be like, wow, I feel so sorry for that human being. Why do they run like that? Him? No way. I love this suit. I hate the dip of the shirt underneath the suit. Like, just do no shirt at that point, you know? Like, commit to the role. If that were higher, I would really like it. I hate the shoes. Those, like, slipper red carpet shoes, I fucking think are so uncomfortable. They make me, like, <clears throat> Lauren is, the, like, she doesn't look bad. She doesn't look great. I feel like that's a big theme. It's like, people look pretty, but, like, the outfit kind of is just there, you know? Oh, God, I just sound like just such a bitch. Next up, we have Viola Davis, the latest to EGOT. Congrats, girl. Oh, my God, that is so fucking sick. I want to narrate a fucking audiobook and get a Grammy. This dress, I love. I love the blocking of it and then the fact that it has the same vibe, but it's made of fringe down below. If anything, I would maybe change her hair because this is such a fun look, but I don't hate this. She looks phenomenal. Congrats. Oh, like you're watching my video. I'm like, congrats. <laughs> Next up, we have money bag yo. And yo, <laughs> that's what you bought with the money bag? It's a choice. It's a choice, Your Honor. Next up, we have Anita. And I'm conflicted because on one hand, I think I like it. And then on the other hand, I think I really hate it. I am stumped. I know I literally just went off on trains earlier. This one feels more monumental. Like, it feels like interesting and like it's all flowing off like I get this train a lot more than Cardi B's train there's just a disconnect between like the body and then the train I like the ruffles and shit but I also like the body thing I don't like them together she looks good though but it just doesn't really do much for me it's interesting I guess maybe <laughs> this just in it's interesting maybe I swear to god fat joe will always make me laugh he just Always looks like he is at the wrong place at literally the wrong time. You could tell me that he was like a backup dancer in Vegas and I would absolutely believe you. I cannot believe he was let out in public looking like this. <laughs> and I'm not saying it because like I actually think the color is kind of interesting. I can't really tell if it's a pink or a red. The fit of it all is absolutely unhinged with Chris Clemens every Thursday. Thank you so much. The pants... I'm just at a loss of words because I know he has a stylist. I know that that stylist isn't not getting paid well. God, I fucking hope they're not, honestly. This is atrocious. He looks like a baboon's ass. <laughs> yeah, he is giving, like, the red part of a baboon's ass, or, like, or, like honestly, the pants are so ill-fitting, it's giving labia. <laughs> like, both majorum and minorum. Alrighty, now we have Jack Harlow. Listen, I don't hate this look. I actually like this suit. The color and the fit is really nice. Fucking hate the gloves. Take them off. The shoes, I really don't think those really work either, but I, I'll take it. His hair looks so bad. Like, if I'm covering up his head, honestly, I love the outfit. Oh, this is just getting really mean. Okay, I'm hearing it. We're learning. See, I'm growing. I like the outfit. I hate the gloves and his hair. Next up, we have Pharrell, and I the, this is a classic Pharrell look where I know he's cool and he looks cool, but I think I hate it. But I'm like, he still looks cool, though. This is what Fat Joe thinks he looks like. <laughs> this is absolutely what Fat Joe thinks he looks like. Like, 100%. But I think I like this. Like, it's at least fucking different. It's not a suit or, like, a tux that's black. Um, next up, we have Anderson Pack, and boy, you better give my Nana her couch back. It is, like, so atrocious, it's almost good. Like, I don't like it, but I love, like, the green piping. That's stunning. He clearly feels great, so, like, that definitely helps. Like, the confidence factor helps. Anderson, pack it up and go home. I do like your restaurantation, though. Love. Next up, we have Trevor Noah, and I'm only saying this because he is attractive and turns me on. This is the most boring fucking thing ever. See, he, I feel like he is someone who could be doing it like Pharrell. Like, he is so funny and is so sexy. And he chooses to wear a boring white tux. Well, you don't think he's hot? Mm-mm. 
You're fired. I'll find a new videographer, bitch. Find your way home. I'm canceling your flight. <laughs> oh my god, he's so hot, I feel. He's like older hot. He reminds me of like a Muppet. <laughs> We're getting off topic here. I just think he could be doing so much more, like, just pushing a little bit more of the boundaries than this. But I guess he was hosting. Oh, my God, he's hosting. Even more reason to, like, spice it up a little. My God. Next up, we have BB Rexa. And, wow, she should change her name to Dee Dee because there are two Ds. Wow! I mean, literally, it doesn't really even matter with the dress. I love the hair and, like, this, like, dolly vibe she's going for. But still, she somehow missed. <laughs> Like, it's, like, almost there, but the dress just looks so cheap. I apologize, but this is not a power bitch move. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that quote without, like, adding the fart. Power bitch moves. <laughs> Next up, we have Casey Musgraves, and I honestly like this. Like, if she had not worn a bodysuit, this would look insane. The ostrich feather with the bodysuit I really like. The shoe not being the same color is insane because it's not like it's a hot pink it's something so similar that it looks like they tried to match it but failed also i think her hair is fucking boring in this there i'm so sorry i think she's wonderful she is so fucking stunning i'm sorry that hair is just the top and the bottom were both fails but everything in between was great you should have bleached it <gasps> oh my god she should have bleached it oh my god like a barbie vibe love see this is why i keep you around Next up, we have DJ Khaled, and just kidding, we're, unlike him, we're gonna keep going down. No, there's no joke there, because he doesn't go down on his wife. Next up, we have Steve Lacey, who, unshockingly, looks phenomenal. See, if you're gonna do, like, this all-black, like, tux suit, have it get fucking tailored. Like, that shit better make you look like a sculpture. The shoes are, in fact, so sick, and I just love the whole vibe. This is how you fucking do a black suit. Men, write it down. Um, next up we have Black China, um, who came dressed as Black Swan. This truly is frightening. First she lost the lawsuit and now this. Like they said, celebrity deaths come in three. What's gonna be the third strike? This is scary. This is genuinely frightening. There's just a lot that I can say and yet I'm just left speechless because this. This was the ultimate choice. This was the boss level of choices. Like, multiple people saw her leave and were like, go get him, tiger. Next up, we have Shania Twain. And I literally needed someone to tell me that this was Shania Twain to know that this was Shania Twain. This is, like, psychotic, but I kind of love it. There is something about this that I really love. I will say I wish the dots went under the hat brim. So, like, it kept on going. But I, I don't know. This, like, I'm into is that weird? I, I think it's so fucking cool and like so different for her. I think I'm biased because I've always had a soft spot and a hard on for Shania Twain. All right, next up we have Laverne Cox and she looks phenomenal. This is great. Love. 10 out of 10. I really don't have much to say. I love the crocodile. I love the ancient Egypt symbols and imagery with the necklace and the jewelry and the hair. I just, I think this is fucking beautiful. And that, my friends, is the end of today's Grammy 2023 outfit roast. Overall, I mean, I don't even remember what I just saw. So, like, I remember, like, Shania Twain and Cardi B and Jesus Christ, this isn't looking great. This is, like, only putting my short-term memory loss issue on blast. So I'm gonna head out because I'm also sweating from being in essentially a sleeping bag for an hour and a half. So, thank you. Good night. And happy birthday. It's gotta be someone's birthday out there, right? <laughs>